All right, day two. Vinny is just wrapping up the rotating assembly. And Vinny, what do we got now? Uh, rotating, rotating assembly is technically done. All the rods, I just torqued all the rods. We'll check rod side clearance and we'll check that for um, for a quench and then we'll start throwing the cam in it and agree in the cam. All right, so you, we're about ready to finish up the short walk. Uh, a couple hours and we'll be moving to the heads. So right now we're checking how far the piston's out of the hole, but what I like to do is rock it and see where it kind of averages. And did you guys deck this block or is it? We, we just barely touched it. Okay. Yeah, because well, we knew we didn't have a whole lot to work with with what we had. And with being that the gasket's only 40 thou thick, you know, we can't let it come out of the hole or anything like you can on other stuff. So, I mean, you guys took something off and we're still seven in the hole. Correct. So, yeah. okay. All right, so I'm looking at the cam card right now. Vinny, uh, let's, let's go over this. Duration at 50, we have 238 degrees intake, 246 exhaust for a Godzilla. Is that big or is that small? It's, it's fairly mild for a, a 445 cubic inch engine. It'll be like your mid range. Okay. It's on a hydraulic, you know, hydraulic mix. Okay, so 116 lobe separation. That's more on the wide power band side, right? Yeah, that's that's pretty much where you want to be with you know um, boosted applications. Okay. Um, turbos, superchargers, they're all different. So turbos, you can usually have a little bit less lobe separation, but you want a wide to keep the the power band. Okay, and then how much lift do we got? We got lobe lift of 353 on both. What's uh, what are the rocket ratios on this? Yeah, one eight. One eight. So I suck at math, but I see you grabbing your calculator. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, difference in lobe. Lobe lift is the actual lift on the cam measured at the cam and then t gross lift will be what the valve actually opens once you add in the ratio of the rockers. So we got three, 1 8. So we got 353, 635 on intake. And the, the same on the exhaust. So. Yeah, so 635. So we got 635 lift. So that's that's <clears throat> about 40 thou more than stock, isn't it? Because the stock's almost at 600 i think it's about 600 i believe yeah so so not not a whole bunch of lift but i think we're adding quite a bit of duration mm -hmm. um both of those will get more air into the cylinder Correct. plus <laughs> add in what 10 15 pounds of boost oh, yeah. we're gonna really get some more air in there the main thing you want to see is you know certain applications is like you look at the overlap you know because there's only so much lobe separation and everything can give you versus ramp rates and everything else so it's a this is this should perform really well for this application not too crazy and not stock Callie's is doing a great job So we have the cam in the block. We have the degree wheel on, which means, Vinny, we're degreeing it, right? I'm gonna interrupt here because we got a couple LS guys in the Ford giveaway booth. Oh, I know, this is weird. This is sick. This is weird. <laughs> so, this is so sick. you guys come over here, we're going <laughs> to right. the Ford. Okay, let's hey, look at the Ford. But you know what? They were just telling me, because I don't, I haven't really paid much attention to these Godzilla motors, but okay. we can relate to this yes. because of this overhead valve. Yes. It's not that 4 cam crap. And it's, it's, it, if, if you're in the know, if you're not in the know, you could actually mistake this for LS. Okay, okay, wait, wait. We're going to have a conversation right now, right? Because is the LS not a knockoff of the first gen small block Ford? Some people say that. 
some people say some people say that some people say that so it's going back and forth and back and forth but then i, I tell you something else okay. if you notice the new mustang is kind of looking like a camaro i'm just saying oh boy. i'm just saying <laughs> Hot takes. Uh -huh. Hot takes. You know, I'm gonna be truthful with you guys. I mean, yes, my allegiance is with the, the LS motor. But I would be lying if I said I don't embrace the Ford technology. I would be lying. I mean, and at this point, it's everybody's technology. It's everyone's technology. And you know, like, there's always that argument, like, when the real muscle wars were, like in the late 60s, early 70s. No, we're in the muscle wars right now. So the real question is, Go ahead. would you run one? 100%. Yeah. I put it in a, like, are, like, are you going to enter to win? I'm, I'm already entered. <laughs> well, there you go. But, but I would run it in a Ford. I wouldn't swap this into a Chevy. I can respect that. You can I'd respect put that? In, I'd put it in a bull nose dually. I would put this. I don't know. Why not? I would put this in a, a 69 Mustang. 100%. The Kaiju's a little bit wider. Kaiju's See, this, a big motor. It's a big motor. So now you have to talk about cutting out shock towers yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that. You know, they do overhead. No, you don't want yeah, that. Yeah, this fits in just this about fits anything. In just about anything. Because again, I've seen I've seen those Coyotes stuffed in Fox bodies. Like, again, you got to cut the shock towers. Mm. Fox, uh, fastback Mustang, you got to yeah. cut the shock towers. Shock towers got to go. Because four cams, it's yeah. a yeah. wide. It's, it's, it's like a sock motor. It's like, it's like the, the, like the 4.6, yeah. the dual overhead back of the yeah. Lincoln Mark 8. Remember the sock motor with the semi hip? Yes, yes, yes. Those things were massive. But they also they came in like galaxies and yes, stuff like yes. that. You know, they came in big cars. So the so the Godzilla, I can definitely respect this engine because, like I said, it's it's almost like an LS. It's small. It's you know, I, I'm thinking people are going to start embracing this because you know you got some Ford guys that just don't want to put LSs in their cars. Yeah, yeah. You know, but and it's going to make crazy torque. And it's going to make crazy torque. And right out the box, it's it's just poke. Yeah. So. So now, where can anybody find you? Where can we find you on the internet? On me, you can you can check me out on uh, Instagram Terry LSX, and on uh, Facebook Terry Wilson, and on YouTube Coverman66. And uh, you know, hey, I take any answers, any questions, and any comments. Let's do it. We're getting love from an LS guy. Yeah. yeah. And Garrett. Yeah, I uh, American Muscle HD on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. But predominantly on Instagram. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested to learn more about these engines because I'm not. I own GM products. I own LS vehicles, but I'm not, you know, solely no such. No, no, you can't close your mind on things. I mean, like if the opportunity came for me to actually get a Ford, and before I, I would look into this. Engine, yeah, 100%. especially this Godzilla engine. I would definitely look into this. And you know, like most people, they fear the unknown. 100%. So you know, they they want to stay in that comfort zone, right? You know, so. There may be. A, there's going to be. A, there's going to be. A, there's going to be a Ford in my in my life at some point. I agree. So 100%. I've been looking at stuff that I can't afford, but <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking at some, some different stuff and uh, to, you know switch it up a little bit. Right. So obviously I, I'm definitely going to look at these. Yep. Keeps you fresh, man. So, thousand horsepower. Enter to win. Hope you win it. <laughs> you know what? I, I love that. I love that theory. Yeah. And yeah. you know what? I hope someone else wins it. Yeah. Sure. But if you came deserve. to my door, it wouldn't be bad. I'm, I'm pulling it in the garage. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's where you sign up. There you go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So Can you me? too can win this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thousand horsepower twin turbo Ford Godzilla. Jesus. ATI. I mean, he's got, got all the right parts. They got a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. Yeah. So we're going to put the uh, billet front cover on today that allows us to run a front dress that brings everything in and makes everything nice and compact. Uses an old, uh, older 94, 95 Ford reverse rotation short water pump. Keeps the belt in the same location as the stock 7.3. And uh, uses aftermarket alternator and power steering pumps that are readily available, which is nice. So you get a Type 2 GM pump, CS130D alternator, and um, a Sandin AC compressor. All stuff everybody in the aftermarket is familiar with, and a nice compact package. All CNC. United States, USA made, uses the Ford OEM seals here to seal the coolant. Ford came out with a real nice platform, and you know, Ford's purpose was to fit it in, a, in an F-250, and accessory drive that, that's, that's pretty big and compact, so we just wanted to take a, a, a truck engine, Break everything down and make it so people could put it in any car they wanted to. IndyPowerProducts.com here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Ford uh, from the factory uses RTD on these engines. 
and you've got to stay with the RTV because you don't want to change the squish on these O-rings that they're using. It'd be nice to put a gasket on there, but you got to be real careful to not mess up the OE O-ring configuration. You're a spizologist. <laughs> you've done a few of those, haven't you? Well, we work on the LT, so yeah. all their covers are oh, silicone. Are they? Yeah, I'm jealous. I'm not, I'm not quite that good with the RTV yeah. yet. So Vinny, let's talk about these heads. These are ported stock castings? Correct. All right, so tell me about the LME uh, port. We did some work on the port with different valve sizes, um, but these are the stock valves. We okay. still have some testing to do with like other sizes, and the uh, the bowl in this head is kind of kind of awkward for, for what we like. Okay. So we're, we're hoping to venture more into testing with, with other stuff. Good Look who we have here. Oh, Benny, how are you? Yeah. We, have, you? we have Al Noe from Summit Racing. Summit is the presenting sponsor of our giveaway. Al, first off, before anything else, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Like, without you guys, this isn't possible. Awesome. Yeah, well, thank you. We, we love being involved in projects like this, and this one is absolutely cutting edge. I believe first ever twin turbo Godzilla. I mean, I'm not sure anybody else has done this. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'll say it. Yeah, okay, right. Take okay, it. take credit for it. But it's awesome, and the Godzilla platform for us has been super successful. We stock the crate engines, all the parts you're going to need to build one of these, we're going to have at Summit. But absolutely a fantastic engine platform. Oh, and I know absolutely. from you guys going through it, building it, there's probably a lot of stuff you've learned from it too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, well, first off, obviously what we were just looking at, look at look at those intake ports. I mean, yeah. You can, you can see the entire The line of sight of to the runner is absolutely awesome. Right. Five years ago, do you think anybody ever would have predicted we'd have a 400 plus cubic inch push rod engine with heads this good on it and this just, it blows me away that Ford came out with this. I think it's, a, it's incredible. I mean, just, it blows me away as an enthusiast, let alone the environment we're in, the yeah. climate we're in. Yeah. So, I mean, absolutely, this is this is a godsend, yeah. I think. I mean, to, to our industry, we all love this. You know, power. that's a good one, the Godzilla godsend. There you go. I'm a poet, and I don't even know it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're a big dealer for uh, Ford Racing. Stock, obviously, a lot of the Godzilla crate engines, all the parts you're going to need to install it. Our friends at LME, though, have made this engine way better than yes. the crate engine. And the crate engine itself is really good. I mean, the power numbers you guys saw on the base pole, yes. completely stock. We saw we saw 520 horsepower and 590 pounds. That is awesome. We were talking earlier, and 1,000 horsepower 
it's the like, new normal, right? Like 500 back in the day for a street car. It's like, oh man, your car makes 500. That's unbelievable. Now anymore, it's like, yeah, it makes a thousand. You know, like it's just what it is, right? Yeah, and a thousand horsepower on the street sounds like a fun time to me. Burnouts for days. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Honestly, again, we couldn't have done this without you. Greg, our I, pleasure. I appreciate it from my heart. Like this is this is what I love. Yeah. So thank you for supporting this. Yeah, you're welcome. Greg, anytime. Thank We're glad to be a partner. Vinny, thank, thank you. you for all the work you and the folks at LME did on this. This thing is gonna be so awesome when it's all done. Can't wait to see the final numbers.